Good morning, folks. Helio Viewer is down, but we're watching SDO and seeing a bit of activity flashing. There are no major flares that took place during yesterday's NOAA blackout or since then, but M flares might be likely going forward. The eruptions themselves stuck to the limb once again. Far to the east and to the west we see the pops. We have had enough of them to disrupt the inner heliosphere with CMEs and cause high energy proton surges. We're on the rise according to GOES and if we hit that dotted line it means we're in a radiation storm. NOAA blackout on ACE here as well. The solar wind speed was simply dropping throughout the day. Geomagnetic instability disappearing with it. As one coronal hole departs, we see the next one coming in down south behind the bright magnetic fields. Negative polarity to that one. The sunspot situation, it's a bit tricky. We've got a ton of sunspots, a peak is expected soon, and some of them are brand new, born amidst the crowd. Could you spot them? The only magnetic mixing is incoming down south where the top two delta candidates reside right now. However, each of the active regions is at least beta class. It's kind of a crapshoot to guess which, if any, will complex. Top quakes of the day. Very unusual for Africa to see this area being active. New Zealand, still slightly above average. And as the Pacific ramps up a bit, I'll begin watching the American coastlines as they often follow the Pacific rise. Got a solar polar fields update. The north field back up a bit into positive. This favors the idea that the sun's poles have finally finished flipping, but we will need a few more updates to say for certain. I'd like to share a bit of perspective from the Weather Channel. Found this about halfway down the page I've got linked for you below the video. You'll find a rundown of the domination by cold over heat this past year. It has not been close. They also do a very good job of noting that the west coast has somehow managed to be incredibly warm throughout that period. Don't forget folks, suspiciousobservers.org will undergo an upgrade in just two days. Please excuse us as we make improvements. The Mobile Observatory Project comes to Birmingham, Alabama today. All the details are at observatoryproject.com. We really hope to see you there. Also, if you click on products in the menu bar up top, you'll find some very cool new additions to the gear. These folks are observers and were our hosts early in the tour. On to the weather. The West Coast storm is now in the central U.S., the next one just churning offshore. The heat and moisture rushing up the leading edge of the convergence could produce hail and thunderstorms tonight. And of course, we can't forget the possible snowfall from the tip of Maine across to the West Coast. In Europe, we see a new Atlantic low now, while the previous one stretches out as it heads east and actually connects to a low over Spain. Our top watches tonight stretch from southwest to the northeast and include the convergence cresting now from that new Atlantic low. Down under, you can see that set of lows still there. While we will have some storms in the south near Melbourne, the primary watches right now stretch from the northeast coast down to New Zealand. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.